So for this video we're going to be making bicone beads. Bicone beads are those nice little um, round beads that you're seeing that are so popular coming out of Africa. Um, in order to do that, um, we're going to be using strips of magazine paper that are already, uh, I just got finished cutting these up. Um, the width down at the base is about a half inch. That and these are approximately 8 inch, 8 to 10 inch sheets of magazine paper. Um, it's just a, a bigger piece of magazine paper, whatever you want to use is to, uh, totally up to you. Um, one similar thing uh, to making the bicone to, as to making the disc beads um, that I covered in one of my other videos is that really we're just working with layers. Um, it's not complicated, it's just a nice basic uh, kind of a long triangle we're just working with layers. So for bicones this size, um, I usually like to work with about five sheets at a time. Um, magazine paper tends to be a little on the thinner side and this kind of gives me a, a, a nice bulk. So there's two. I'm going to go ahead and add um, three more strips. Okay, so we've got um, all of our strips in there, five of them all together. Okay, center those up. Add some tape. This is my Q-tip here that I was using. Okay, we're going to attach our, our tape and start rolling. Okay, keep the point centered. Just keep everything moving to the center. Can you see where it's forming? Um, kind of a nice round bead. Uh oh, and if that happens, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't let go. Just wind it back up. Okay. There we go. So at this point, since we're down to our last few inches of paper, go ahead and fan those ends out. Give it some glue. Pinch those ends and finish center rolling. Okay. I usually give it a few spins just to smooth everything out um, after um, I have finished rolling. Okay. I do that to um, smooth it out, to tighten it up, and to, um, to kind of center it up. All right, so there we go. We've just created a little tiny bicone bead. So let's go ahead and snip that piece of plastic off there. And let's make another one. Just needed to take the cotton off the end of my, uh, I'm ready for a new plastic tube here for our center and our handle. Roll that up. Fan them out. Give it some glue. And finish rolling. little bicone bead. Let's do one more. You'll actually see um, that you can really do kind of a lot of them pretty quickly. Um, these are not a complicated bead. Um, the end result is, is really nice. It gives you kind of a fancy looking bead without a 
whole lot of work to it or anything fancy that you're doing. It's just adding layers. Um, when making the bicone bead, I have um, in the past even used as many as like up to like 12 sheets. Um, they're pretty hard to roll, but um, it's pretty worth it. The, the difference is though with that bicone, uh, the one that I used up to 12 sheets with, um, one thing I did different was instead of my base here being only half inch, on those I actually made them about one inch. So one inch rolling about 12 sheets at a time um, gives you a nice size. You can go higher with your paper count if you want to. Just bear in mind, once again, it's going to be a little harder um, to roll because we're dealing with a lot of thicknesses of paper all at once. All right, and there we go. We have just made three bicone beads, just like that. All right, so happy beading, and we'll see you next time.